Here we see the four car battling with Chase Elliott, and the caution comes out! Around goes the six of Ryan Newman! The crew going right to work on that machine. The trials and tribulations of this six team this year. If you haven't been following, Ryan Newman started the year off with a tremendous accident at Daytona. For the win, getting turned, then getting hit while upside down. Here we see Ryan Newman coming on the inside of Quinn Half here at Pocono. Now Pocono's a two and a half mile track. The last time that Ryan Newman was on a two and a half mile track was the Daytona International Speedway and his horrible crash. Now Denny Hamlin has never won at Dover before, but momentum is on his side. As he comes out of turn number four, he'll take his sixth career win on the season. A winning streak that started at Daytona when he won after Ryan Newman went upside down. And it's a scary scene down by that 12 car as a crew member is being tended to. We're under the red flag. And that 12 car is no stranger to big incidents because it was at one time driven by Ryan Newman, who this year had an absolutely terrible crash in the Daytona 5. They're racing down the back straight away, and here they come. They're too wide. Trouble in the back of the pack. Christopher Bell gets turned. One car heading hard for the wall. I can't tell who it is, but Ryan Newman has hit it. Ryan Newman has been involved in another airborne crash after making contact with Chase Elliott. Leading Denny Hamlin as they head into the final chicane. This is not the first time that Denny Hamlin has not been in the lead at Daytona. You may remember in the Daytona 500, he was actually running third when Ryan Newman got turned and sent upside down, and Chase Elliott wins. And this will likely bring out a caution as the track crews are going to have to get him back on the road. Speaking of getting back on the road, the road to recovery for one driver, Ryan Newman, who absolutely... Riding on board with Jimmy Johnson. Oh, trouble! Eric Jones hard on the wall, and he's collected Tyler Reddick, it appears. Eric Jones, who started the year by winning at Daytona, the track where Ryan Newman had his terrible crash. And Tyler Reddick, the driver of the Caterpillar Richard Childers Racing Machine, a vehicle that was at one time driven by Ryan Newman, who you may remember had a terrible crash at and for the second restrictor plate race in a row, Orion is leading as they come down to trouble. A car crosses the finish line in a state of disarray, similar to the way that Ryan Newman crossed the finish line.